Developing countries have provided two-thirds of global growth over the past five years. These are no longer charity cases. They're vital to the world economy. But of course, they face huge challenges too. So it's the World Bank Group's aim to keep focusing the world's economic leaders on growth, not just stability, on human safety nets, not just financial safety nets, and on modernizing multilateralism so that all 100, 188 of our shareholders can work together for their common interests. On the one hand, the future of the Eurozone depends on actions of individual countries, particularly the steps they take for fiscal consolidation and, as I've emphasized, the steps they need to take for structural reforms uh, in future growth. It's very difficult to take those steps in a no-growth environment. So it has to be balanced with steps that might be able to support uh, demand and longer-term changes of growth. We're not out of this mess yet. And so, you know, if you have a more seismic event because of failures of management, that's going to hit everybody hard. It's still a fragile economy, as we in the IMF have pointed out. We've also had to learn lessons of the Arab Spring, and economic growth alone is not enough. It's got to be inclusive, and frankly, the more we can emphasize the things I've been talking about, about openness and social accountability, I think that's the future direction of the bank as well as these countries.